Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, beer review. So, actually, a wine review. Yeah, just looked at the bottle thinking, it's not beer, it's wine. And a uh, big massive thank you to my uh, friend Sheila, who's 86 years old, who actually gave me the bottle of wine for my birthday. So, thank you. Uh, not that she watches these videos or anybody else near her watches these videos, but you never know. And I always like to be right. So, a little update about the old uh, eye situation. Stitches are out today. And, uh, yeah, uh, I was bracing myself for some severe pain. Because when he put the anaesthetic in, that was bloody painful. And I do mean painful. But actually, apart from one little snag, it was it was really easy. So, all was good. Although, if I reckon my blooming eye is more swollen there. Uh, today is Monday on this review. So I'm reviewing Jamshed Shiraz. Um, Australian 2021 bottle, rich, jammy and smooth. Get in. And uh, oh, we've just done. Bear in mind. <laughs> Obviously, I had this, this happened last a week last Sunday. So literally eight days ago. And today I've just done a tw first 12 hour shift since before then. And I am absolutely knackered and aching. I've got back ache, in leg ache, lots of aches. Um, it is what it is, I suppose. So, what it says on the back of this, it says, uh, source. Wow, it's really hard to read as well, unless you, unless you, the colour. Sourced from selected vineyards, this Shiraz is rich and opulent, with a sweet red berry flavours and balanced with subtle hint of vanilla and spice. It's serious, delicious red wine, jam-packed with flavour. Yep, doesn't really say much else that's uh, any interesting. So, happy birthday to me. Hey, a few days later... Uh, I was actually supposed to go on the um, Friday, but obviously I was wasn't strong enough um, work 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 wise to do it. And uh, although to be fair, last Friday I was actually pretty strong. But um, hey ho. So here we go. Um, so reddish pour, red tinge on the top there. Berries on the nose, as you'd expect. And there is a spicy back note with that berry. The berry comes at the front. The spicy does come in there as well. And again, the vanilla is also on the nose. Well, looking forward to this chisel. Dry, fruity, spices coming in at the back end. <sighs> A little touch of vanilla just floated in there as well. Oh, apparently this, this wine has been well received in... Um, in the UK and I've just looked over there I've actually got a jam jam shed Chardonnay and that's for my um, for wedding for, to go on the tables that's my white wine to go on the tables I've got a yellowtail Shiraz and a rosé so yeah I've got to choose three wines for the for the top table I'm the only one who drinks red wine so I might get something nice for myself, you know what I mean? You smell what the rags are cooking. <laughs> yeah. Well, the beer festival in the evening, I won't need any beer because I'll already be steaming. Now the spice is really starting to come forward. So... Cracking day today. Uh, I got to work this morning and 
I think I had, I had a beer late last night. And maybe a glass of red. And that with the sun walloped me. Uh, made me fall to sleep very early and uh, didn't appease the wife very well. And uh, you think I'd learn my lesson, wouldn't you? I do learn my lesson, it's just now and again. There's a blip. That blip when you're in your own house is something different to that blip when you're on the street and you fell over. Uh, falling asleep in your own house is not a bad thing. Overdoing the beer. Yes, yes, that is. Yes. Um, you can just see the legs on this as you swirl it round. Um, you can see the I just see a slight film on the inside. With the old legs, the ABV, I ain't even said anything about the ABV, is 13.5%. So literally, just like an Imperial Stout really, a glass of Impy. Um, what is that? That would be a third. So basically a third of Imperial Stout, if you're thinking about it in beer terms. Um... I do think wines and impies, are, you know, piaf. Um, Strength-wise, if you can drink an, a, a wine, a glass of wine, then you can certainly drink an imperial stout, no problem. On the ABV from Tony, I don't mean the taste. Um, and vice versa, of course. But yeah. Cracking day today. I, I, I've got two weeks on Friday when I get married. Again. <laughs> yeah, it's the same woman. Again. Yeah. Oh, really, in our wedding vows, not actually getting. You class it as getting married. It's. Yeah. But anyway, um, so I've got a lot of work. Gardens grow, grass grows, hedges grow, weeds grow. Things need watering. The list of work. I'm having to push myself physically to the limit to try and get the quality as close to perfect. And bear in mind, I work over two sites. So I've got a nine acre site and a three acre. Albeit, the nine acre site, three and a half acres is woodland. Two acres, sorry, two acres is woodland. Around about three and a half acres is... Um, Yeah, three and a half acres is the paddock. I don't touch, touch the paddock really, apart from a bit of weed killing. Um, and then the other, the other, what would be three and a half acres is the driveway and the grounds. And, and literally there's not a lot of flower beds there. It's more, uh, I've doubled the amount of flower beds or probably tripled actually since I've been there. But there isn't nothing compared to what's at the smaller site where my wedding's taking place. Uh, there will be in time, there will be, but uh, it's all about um, it's all about planting stuff at the right time of the year, and uh, I'm 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 making the job harder for myself all the time, but I'm winning stuff all the time, and uh, I didn't win with this, but hey oh. Um, But the Cockliffe site, today, um, there's a, a bed that I put in on September last year. Uh, planted these dahlias, most of them survived. Mm -hmm. Today I've actually gone along and topped the bed up with loads and loads more flowers like salvias, antirrhinums, um, lavelias, all perennial ones, I don't mean the, the ones that you put in sanging baskets. And... Um, Get that a water in, done a load of edge trimming, planted a bed up with radicchio, which is like um, a radish flavoured lettuce. It's a spicy bloody lettuce. Chefs love it. 
Um, so yeah, I've done that as well, and uh, a load of watering and stuff, and uh, and more plants than just them. And I've got so many plants and seedlings coming through that I'm having to I'm, I'm having to go. I'm absolutely having to go for it. Uh, it's all good fun, mind you. I love what I do. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but um, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, it's, um, as jobs go, it's starting to come really rewarding, although it's not easy catching up and, and doing all this, you know, it's, uh, it's tough work and uh, I could be, I could make it easy and blag, but I don't blag, it's not the way I am, I push myself. I push myself because there's I want to push myself and I want to do more and I want to win and I will win um, eventually hopes and aspirations at least so uh, I won't go on too long because my um, sausages are cooking yeah and it's literally gone eight o'clock at night I've been out since half six this morning I've just got home uh, just been in the house about 15 minutes, quick review, get my sausages, go upstairs and then catch up on social media on my, on my phone because I'm miles behind on social media and you, when you start getting behind, you, uh, you start to struggle keeping on top of stuff. So um, posting reviews and that, so I, I need to uh, make sure that um, you know that I do crack on with that anyway it's now our time for the air to get to it really jammy this is a lovely wine um, there's no difference in the taste it's jammy there's vanilla there's a lovely spicy element to it and uh, it go well with sausages actually, which is what I'm having next. Hey, um, at least the weather's cold, a bit cooler tonight. Twenty tonight instead of being what was it yesterday? Twenty nine degrees, and they reckon. Well, unless you believe what the papers say, they reckon we could get forty degrees in July. Um, that's scary temperatures. And the plants don't like 40 degrees. I don't like 40 degrees. No man, plants. Um, so yeah, yeah, that, that's all interesting. Um, but yeah. Out of five for me, would I drink this again? Hell yes, fantastic. I love the Jam Shed um, range of wines. Hence why one of them is making it to the Raggy Redding, um, along with Barefoot and along with Yellowtail. So there you go. A person who actually reviews wines, and it's always interesting what you actually drink yourself, because what you drink uh, at your own dues that you bought yourself, just that's your favourite, you know, if you can afford, unless you can afford, you know, stuff that's probably a bit more expensive. But there you go. Um, but yeah, out of five for me, a good 4.6 out of five, a top class red wine, and not overly expensive either. Don't be f lured into that false sense of security that you need to spend £30 and £50 and £100 on a bottle of wine. Absolute bollocks. Um, you know, you can get a decent wine for a fair price. Yeah, I mean, let's be fair, some of them £2.99 and lower wines, yeah, some of them are a bit ropey. I'll be honest with you there. But the, the, the five pound to 13 pound wines that you see in most supermarkets, they're perfectly decent. You don't need to go for the posh stuff. Uh, you ain't gonna get much more from it. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> I've drank most of them. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon.